So we welcome you, Ross Gray, churches together to our annual service for the week of prayer for Christian unity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And also, and also with, with you. My dear friends in Christ, this year, the theme of our week of prayer for Christian unity, chosen by the Sisters of the Community of Grand Champion in Switzerland, is abide in my love and you shall bear much fruit. It is the great desire of God expressed by Jesus that we might come to him and abide in him. He waits for us tirelessly, hoping that united to him in love, we will bear fruit and that we will bring life to all. Uh, fruit that will bring life to all. Faced with our differences, uh, we risk withdrawing into ourselves and seeing only that which separates us. But let us listen to how God calls us uh, to abide in his love and so bear much fruit. In the three moments of prayer that follow, we remember the call of Christ. We turn to his love, to him who is the centre of our life. For the path of unity begins in our intimate relationship with God. Abiding in God's love strengthens the desire to seek unity and reconciliation with others. God's, God opens up to those who are different from us. This is an important fruit, a fruit of healing for the divisions within us, between us and in our world. In peace, let us pray to the world, to the Lord. Lord, you are the vine dresser who cares for us with love. You call on us to see the beauty of each branch united to the vine, the beauty of each person, and yet, too often, the differences in others make us afraid. We withdraw into ourselves. Our trust in you is forsaken. Enmity develops between us. Come and direct our hearts towards you once again. Grant us to live from your forgiveness so that we may be together and praise your name. Amen. In Psalm 103, it's the Psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. <clears throat> Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, <clears throat> who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle's, the Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. <clears throat> as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it and it is gone and his place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in, king, in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you, his hosts, you ministers of his who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of all his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 
Our litany of praise. You who call us to be praised in the midst of the earth, glory to you. We sing your praise in the midst of the world and among all peoples. We sing your praise in the midst of creation and all its creatures. We sing your praise among suffering and tears. We sing your praise among promises and achievements. We sing your praise in places of conflict and misunderstanding. We sing your praise in the places of encounter and reconciliation. We sing your praise in the midst of rifts and divisions. We sing your praise in the midst of life and death, the birth of a new heaven and a new earth. You who call us to be praised in the midst of the earth, glory to you. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me, save that thou art, thou my best Lord, by day or by night, waking Praise God, 
gospel reading is from St. John chapter 15, beginning at the first verse. I am the real vine, Jesus said, and my father is the gardener. He breaks off every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and he prunes every branch that does bear fruit, so that it will be clean and bear more fruit. You have been made clean already by the teaching I have given you. Remain united to me, and I will remain united to you. A branch cannot bear fruit by itself. It can do so only if it remains in the vine. In the same way, you cannot bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me, and I in them, will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. Those who do not remain in me are thrown out like a branch and dry up. Some branches are gathered up and thrown into the fire, where they're burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, then you will ask for anything you wish and you shall have it. My Father's glory is shown by your bearing much fruit. And in this way, you become my disciples. I love you just as the Father loves me. Remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My commandment is this, love one another just as I love you. The greatest love you can have for your friends is to give your life for them. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because servants do not know what their master is doing. Instead, I call you friends because I have told you everything I heard from my father. You did not choose me. I chose you and appointed you to go and bear much fruit, the kind of fruit that endures. And so the father will give you whatever you ask of him in my name. This then is what I command you love one another. This is the gospel of Christ. And so now we pray our prayers of intercessory. God of life, you have created every human being in your own image and likeness. We sing your praise for the gift of our many cultures expressions of faith, traditions, and ethnicities. Grant us the courage always to stand against injustice and hatred based on race, class, gender, religion, and fear of those not like ourselves. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. Merciful, merciful God, you have shown us in Christ that we are one in you. Teach us to use this gift in the world so that believers of all faiths in every country may be able to listen to each other and live in peace. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. O oh, Jesus, who came into the world 
and shared fully in our humanity. Know the hardships of life for people who suffer in so many different ways. May the spirit of compassion move us to share our time, life and goods with all those in need. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. Holy Spirit, you hear the fury of your wondered creation and the cries of all those already suffering from climate change. Guide us towards new behaviors. May we live to learn in harmony as part of your creation. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. And we share in the words uh, of the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Our Father, who wow. art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your will be done. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Spirituality and solidarity are inseparably linked. Uh, prayer and action belong together. Uh, when we abide in Christ, we receive the spirit of courage and wisdom to act against the all injustice and oppression. Pray and work that God may reign. Throughout your day, let the word of God breathe life into work and rest. Maintain inner silence in all things, so as to dwell in Christ. Be filled with the spirit of the Beatitudes, joy, simplicity, mercy. Be one, so that the world may believe. Abide in God's love. Go into the world and bear the fruits of his love. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and all peace in faith so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.